I've got Urban Decay's new Alice Through the Looking Glass palette to share with you guys today, and then I did purchase two of the lipsticks. And I've used this palette twice so far. I used it today, which is the look that's on my face, and there will be a demo for that towards the end of the video if you're interested. And then I used it yesterday so that I could better give you guys an opinion of the shades. I tried to use as many as I could, and I kind of went with the Mad Hatter today. <laughs> I purchased the palette and two of the lipsticks in store. I actually called the Ulta that morning and asked them to hold the three things for me because they told me the last time that I was in the store that they wouldn't sell me that stuff till the 28th and they had it in and I was like but please <laughs> but they didn't so I ended up picking it up on the 28th and the palette retails for $60 and the lipsticks are $18 a piece I have seen it on the Ulta website as well and I'm sure it's coming to the Urban Decay website as well as Sephora hopefully soon I'll get up close and give you guys um packaging details and swatches in just a minute um but first off I was really wanting to use the mattes in here to see if they were any better than previous matte eyeshadows I've used from Urban Decay because I do have trouble with them. I always find them um, really thin in texture and quite dusty. And so yesterday I had used quite a few of the matte shades. I used the Bandersnatch, <laughs> I used Reflection I believe, and I used Dormouse which has some glitters in it but the majority of the um, shadow is a matte with the suspended like glitters in it. And they blended out really well. I felt like the matte formula in this is different and better than previous matte formulas that I've tried from Urban Decay, which is really exciting for me because I'll be more apt to reach for these. In the colors that I used today, I was fairly happy with everything except for the Royal Flush shade. Um, it looks really shiny and sparkly and I put it on the inner portion. On camera it looks quite vibrant, but in person I feel like it could have been more shimmery, but it's, it fell a little bit flat. Yesterday when I had used Duchess, which is also kind of a peachy shimmer tone, um, I, when I pat, put that on the lid, Again, it kind of fell a little flat. Some of these shades are really super vibrant, like <laughs> some of the ones that I have on today, and then some of them do fall a little bit flat. They swatch a little bit shinier and look a little bit shinier in the pan than they actually apply on the eye. But I have enjoyed this palette both times that I've used it. I'm a fan of the Alice in Wonderland uh, movies, I guess, so I'm excited for when the movie comes out. And I really love the packaging on this, like the print and details really nice, even though this packaging is a cardboard. I don't mind that because it takes me back to the days of the Urban Decay Book of Shadows and then also the older Alice in Wonderland palette. So it like kind of gives me all the feels or something. So I don't mind that this particular one is cardboard because it just, it took me back. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches and some detail on the packaging. So here's the outer cardboard box that the palette comes in. And then you can see it's printed really nice inside as well. And then on the back, it does have five different like color combinations and they call the first one Alice. Then they got Mad Hatter, which I used all of these shades today. Um, Marana, Erasbeth, and Time. I kind of wish that this was printed on the back of the palette as well, but it is not, it's only on the box. And then here is your actual palette. It's super, super cute packaging and then here opens up on top you have got a mirror in there and then you've got two little doors that open up and reveal kind of a um pop-up butterfly in there like a 3d type pop-up butterfly and then it says on there i'm not strange weird off nor crazy my reality is just different from yours and then here's the bottom drawer that pulls out and it says, I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I must have changed several times since then. <laughs> and then this drawer pops all the way out, which I do like that it comes out fairly easily. And then here are your 20 shades of eyeshadow. Each pound is 0 0.04 ounces of shadow, which is standard for like Urban Decay's Book of Shadow style palettes. But the Vice palettes have 0 0.03 ounces of product in here. So there's a little bit more in here than the Vice palettes. And then here is a brush. The brush also has the pretty detail on it. And one end is a fluffy blender and the other one is kind of a fluffier shader type of a brush. This here really looks 3D especially in like the promo pictures that I saw but it is flat but it's it's quite neat how they printed it because it does look you know 3D. Now for matte eyeshadows in here you've got Looking Glass, Reflection, Bandersnatch, um, and then Chessboard. So I would say one, two, three, four solid mattes. Ones that I say would be kind of matte um, but they have suspended little sparkles in them. Dormouse, um, Hatter on my lid, which I did use, it kind of looks matte on me. Uh, Metamorphosis um, looked kind of matte when I packed on the outer corner. 
And then I see two shades for sure that have like larger glitters in them, this Dream On shade, and then Cake, which I did use Cake and I expected a little bit more follow with that considering there's some larger glitters in there, but I didn't. It wasn't bad, bad not bad follow at all. And then Royal Flush um, also has got some glitters in it. The other ones, like these ones have got little micro um, shimmers in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch two at a time here. We've got Looking Glass and Hatter. Then we've got Lily, which I did use yesterday, and I really kind of had to st stick my brush in there to pick up some product. And then there's Heads Will Roll, which I'm excited to use this teal shade. It's really pretty. It's got some, um, I would say like some yellow, slightly gold, super, super itty bitty shimmers in it. But it kind of, it's one of those ones too that kind of looks matte swatched. And then there is Time, which this is probably one of the most unique shades in here. Like, I'd expected it to be like a, um, just kind of a black and smoky gray, but it's totally got some beautiful dimension to it. And then we'll do Reflection, which is the other matte. I've got this guy underneath my brow bone, and it shows up quite, um, orange on me, but the dimension in this Time shade is really gorgeous. I expect it to be a little bit more flat, not like swatched, so... I don't know, it's just really pretty. And then here's that other matte shade. Then there's Gone Mad, which I have to crease, and Duchess, which I used yesterday and I thought it fell a little short. It's kind of got a bit of a pink shift to it. And then Bandersnatch, which is a matte and I used this yesterday. It was beautiful. It blends out more into a kind of a tealy shade. And then here's Dream On, which is a chunky glitter and does not have a ton of pigmentation at all. But this Bandersnatch shade is gorgeous. And then we've got Dormouse and Paradox, or par Parado, or Paradox, which I did use the shiny orange shade a bit today, and it's super pretty. Next is Kingdom and Salazen Grum, which I was almost gonna grab this guy today, but I didn't. I went, I went the Mad Hatter route. <laughs> Both of those shades are gorgeous. And then there is Chronosphere and Metamorphosis. Then Cake and Chessboard. And then the last two, Royal Flush and Mirror. Why didn't it look like that on my eye? <laughs> I thought for kicks I'd go ahead and show you guys the old Alice in Wonderland palette, which this guy was difficult to get a hold of. I purchased it online way back when, but I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what it looks like. And then the little packaging. This one only has 16 eyeshadows. And the, uh, the newer one has got 20, which I do prefer more shadows instead of like those things. But here's the packaging for the two lipsticks that I purchased. And I went ahead and got Mad Hatter and Alice. And then here are the lipstick tubes. This is the same style of packaging that the Gwen Stefani lipsticks came in. Um, I will say that I feel, even though the packaging is cute and the pattern and everything, I do feel like the actual packaging itself is a little on the cheap side. But it says Urban Decay there. I mixed these two today for what's on my lips. So here is Mad Hatter. It's got the little Urban Decay embossed in there. And this is a metal metalized or metallic finish. So that's Mad Hatter. 
And then here is Alice, which is, it looks like a strange color, but it's got a pink like shift to it. This is a sheer shimmer finish. It reminds me of like all the fireball, like the highlighter and stuff. So what I did was I put on Alice first, then I put a bit of Mad Hatter on, and then I went back over with Alice. So I'll show you guys like kind of, it's what's on my lips, but I just kind of mixed them. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Now if you're interested in seeing the demo and the look that's on my eyes, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I went ahead and primed my lids from the lash line to up underneath the brow with the NYX eyeshadow base. And now I'm going to use a Hakuhodo S133 brush. And I might, I think I'm going to go ahead and get a little wild with this palette because like, and use mostly the Matte Hatter because <laughs> why not? Um, and let's go into the Hatter shade to start off with. I'm going to start off with this right in the center. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into Metamorphosis, and I'm going to put this on the outer portion and overlap it over that green. The wind outside is like howling today, so sorry if you can hear like banging and stuff because it's really windy here. Um, I'm going to again use the same brush, I just kind of went back and forth on a washcloth, like a dry washcloth. I'm going to go into Royal Flush using the side of that one and I'm going to put that one in the inner portion and blend it into that green. Then using a Chikohoto GSN 9 I'm going to go into Gone Mad which is that purple with a bit of iridescence to it and I'm going to go in the crease with this guy. The wind is just, it just like ruins a beautiful day, that wind here. Then on a Chikohoto GSN 10, I'm going to go into the shade Cake, which is a pink with, um, there appears to be a little bit of micro glitter in that one. I'm going to start in with the purple. Then I'm going to use that GSN 10 to go into the shade Paradox, or Peridot, and I'm going to put that above the pink. Then using a Chikohoto eyeshadow brush, I'm going to dip into Reflection, which is one of the mattes, and I'm going to put that underneath the brow. I'm going to go back into the cake shade and put a little bit more of that through here and buff it into the orange a little better. I have got a teeny bit of fallout here. Then using this Goss number 8 brush, I'm going to go into Metamorphosis again. And I'm going to put just a little bit of it down here. And then again, I'm going to use the same brush and put a little bit in the green. So there's the shadow done. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. 
I'm totally just going to wing this lip here. <laughs> this is the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Liner in the shade Goddess. I'm going to lightly line with this guy. And then I'm going to go in with the Alice lipstick. It's a sheer shimmer. And it looks kind of crazy. <laughs> And then I'm going to use the shade Mad Hatter on top of it, which is a metallic finish. Totally feeling like the Mad Hatter. <laughs> I have to go outside like right after I've been filming this and go work with some horses. I hope I don't scare them. <laughs> Actually, I really like how the look turned out. But um, there's the overall finish look using the Alice through the Looking Glass palette from Urban Decay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.